approach this game on Saturday? Uh, well, obviously, we're coming off the back of two really disappointing results. Uh, I think I said it for me, you know, losing 2-1. Uh, that's burst our bubble a little bit. We've um, made a good start uh, and we looked as if we were mentally in a good place and a bit of momentum and a bit of belief. And, of course, the two results of that undermines that. So this week's about that as much as about the fact that it's Rangers. It's just, you know, it's another game. And uh, we've got to first and foremost get ourselves right before we worry too much about what they're going to be like. Uh, then once I feel that we are in the right frame of mind we can start to think about what problems they're going to offer and we know that going there is always difficult but we played them here and we feel as if it was a fairly uh, two, it was a clash of styles in a sense but it was a fairly even game you know we felt a little bit unlucky to lose the way we did so we know we can go there and give them a game and that's obviously what we've got to get ourselves in the right frame of mind to be able to go and do that How much do you think both sides have improved since that game? Yeah, well, we certainly improved last week, but I mean, you know, I think that uh, we were showing signs of improvement, and 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 that, that would come from really people getting to know each other, us finding out about the new players we brought in and how they're going to play. Um, you know, so we're not going to forget that when we go into this game. But uh, yeah, I think they they will get better and better as the season goes on. But uh, I think we will as well. What kind of challenge do you think Rangers are going to pose this season? Do you take some Hart, or not Hart, but Hamilton Mack, he's going there first game of the season and leaving with something. Yeah, I think that uh, Hamilton played really well that day. I watched the game. Um, a second half against Dundee last week, Dundee played well, you know. Um, so I think there are opportunities for us, you know, ours are, regardless of the noises that come out of there about their circumstances, they're still signing players that we couldn't sign. Um, so it's always going to be difficult for the rest of us to compete with that. But at the moment, they've not quite got to, for instance, the stage of signing the sort of players that Celtic are signing, you know, for millions and millions. So, therefore, we feel as if we still should be in touch with them um, in a way that maybe we've no right to think we are with Celtic. So, um, I think we can go there believing that uh, if we play really well, then we can get something, as Aki's did. Given the chances you created in the League Cup game here, do you feel there are opportunities to get at Rangers by the way they play? Uh, I mean, I'd get at them. I, mean, I don't see any great feelings in any part of the team. I think they are what they are, and I think it's up to us to play as well as we can. If we do, as we've shown, even on Saturday, you know, at one 0 on Saturday, you know, we've missed a couple of really good chances to make it two 0 in a game where we actually weren't playing very well, and in a game where, our, you know, we do all this, the the sports science and we do the the GPS and all that, you know, and our stats were down by about one and a half kilometres on Saturday. And that is significant, you know, I demonstrated to the lads how significant that was by on Tuesday uh, training, giving them 10, 200 metre runs, you know, to show that that's what was missing from our game Saturday and how can you expect to win if, you know, if that's missing for your game. So, you know, um, we've got to get up to that level to give ourselves a chance of uh, of, of getting it in from Ibrooks. In terms of going to, to play a team that's expected to be a title challenger this season at their home this weekend, how, how damaging was the defeat to Celtic? Do you think there's still a belief that you can go in and get yeah, No, the, 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 the defeat against Celtic wasn't damaging really. The defeat on Saturday was more damaging. Um, and, and, you know, raised more questions than the Celtic game did. As I say, I mean, again, you see a team that's, you know, beaten Olympiacos and, you know, have done well in Europe getting thumped at Celtic Park. You know, the Celtic are flying at the moment, so we're discounting that game. It was only Saturday that was a disappointment for us, so uh, that's where we've got to get the belief back now to where it was a week before the Celtic game and uh, and uh, go to Ibrox in the knowledge that if we play as well as we can, and as Aki's did, as Aki's played well, you know, Aki's didn't go there and not play well and get a result, they had to play well to get that result, and we know we're going to have to do the same. Obviously, Lee Lang left early on the week. Does that allow you to bring on Bell or was that just balancing the books? That was part of balancing the books, yeah. yeah but Lee Lucas is still here. Is he still? Lee Lucas is a player we like. Um, you know, unfortunately for Lee, what happened was he got injured, and uh, uh, Craig Clay, who we'd been chasing, came in and done really well. And we've signed Craig, so it kind of, you know, it, it means it sort of steps him back a little bit. But we like him enough, and he's different enough from the three other central midfield players we have. Um, you know, Lasley Clay, 
um, and Cads, you know, if he plays in there, and McHugh even, um, uh, he's different enough to want to look at him closer. So, in a sense, he's still in trial. Any interest in if the players any renewed interest? No, nothing at all. Mark, could I ask you, uh, I don't know if you managed to read it this morning at all, Charlie Christie was chatting to us yesterday and he brought this notion of um, a quota system in Scottish football in terms of having to include five homegrown players in your squad. Clearly that wouldn't be a, an issue for a club like Motherwell, but in, in a wider sense, do you think there's merit in, in such a system? I mean, I think there should be a quota where you've got to include five good players. I would t- I'd settle for that. Um, but uh, I think limiting it in these sort of ways is difficult. You know, you, you know, we, you know, listen. I, it's like the national team. I mean, I, if 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 there were more, uh, you know, Scottish players, you know, base players, uh, Scottish base players, you know, playing at a level where, you know, we felt we could include them, then then they, they would. But and it's the same with the team. I've I've needed a fullback. I lost uh, Josh uh, Lowe. I needed a fullback. I needed a centre half. I needed a central midfield players, and I've looked in Scotland. You know, I really have looked in Scotland, and I've not been able to get. Them. Not that they're not here, but I've not been able to get them. You know, there are players in Scotland I would take, but I've not been able to get those players. So I've had to go south, and I've had to bring in English players, English based players, to to to. I um, mean, uh, uh, Richard Tate Scottish, but you know, I've had to bring in players from England to to find the players that I wanted. You know, so I had no choice in that. So to limit. And say that I've got to include five, uh, you know, Scottish players, and would make life very difficult for me. I'd end up having to play maybe some of the youth team lads who aren't quite ready. But in that case, you know, like he was talking about Inverness and John Hughes having put Ryan Christie and Liam Polworth in probably before other managers might. In that sense, you are giving youth a chance, but do you think that's potentially damaging then if you if you do put them into this level before they before they seem to be ready? No, you put them in before they're ready. Then of course it is. I mean, I've put, as I put, I came here at Christmas and put in Chris Garden and uh, 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 Ben Hall. You know, who had never, you know, really played in the first. Ben Hall never played in the first team. Cads, you know, flitted with it a little bit. You know, but I looked at them and I thought they were good enough. And if they're good enough, I put them in. But you know, if they're not good enough and I have to put them in, then that's going to affect the performance of my team. You know, so I can't be affording to do that. You know, I've got to put players in that I feel are good enough, and they're fifteen or fourteen. I mean, we've got a lad here who's fifteen that if I was allowed to play him, he'd be he'd be flirting with the team. You know, but I'm not allowed to play him till he's sixteen. You know, so I will do it. You know, I've done it with others. I've done it with you know Robbie Keane, and I've done it with Emil Heskey. You know, I'm not scared to put in boys that are sixteen years old, but they have to be good enough.